Okay, let's fix this fucking weight. Because Harper Derp, right? Come on, man. Casper, stop being a dick. Come on. What the fuck, man? Seriously? Like, none of them are out of place or anything. Okay, it's like a. See, but it just shits it behind him. It doesn't, like, put it, like, under him or anything. Wow. What the fuck? Why is he dropping in front of him suddenly? <laughs> right, seriously, Casper. Stop your shit. Okay, that's square on it. So, obviously one of these fucking barrels must be off, but it's like a fucking tiny bit. Like, what the fuck? There we go. Huh, <sighs> okay, what's next? Uh, we have red keys, so... <sighs> fuck, I... I don't even remember what the fuck we're supposed to be doing here. Um, maybe if I key on it now. Uh, okay, I think we're supposed to go to... The garden. No. No, 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 no. That's not worth to go at all, Jason. We are going to the wee room up in the foyer. I only fucking recorded this yesterday and I don't remember what the fuck I'm doing. Anyway. Hmm. I'm kind of stuck for things to say right now. Well, things to say soon, but right now I've got nothing. It's just going all the way to the place where we have to be. <coughs> Which is quite a bit away. Well, I'm going to say that's about two rooms away now, but... I was probably better go the other way, actually, on the main thing. Hmm. Come on, man. There we are. So we should be able to do this now. That's just something I've completely forgotten about, in which case it's shit, son. Red. Oh, you know, we fucking thing in the background there. That was stupid. I don't care what that opened, but oof. Right. So, here's a clock. It doesn't move. Get your jigs off us. Hanging with the home ghosts. God, you cheesy as fuck game. We're missing one piece. Where is One Piece? Okay. Where could the One Piece be? The One Piece. Here it is. Not. Really. Don't know why I said that. Hmm. So yeah, that's all that. And there's another secret that we're missing, and I don't remember where it is. Huh. So I'm going to research some video, some video to find this last piece. See you soon. So we're back here at this part. Um, okay. <clears throat> there, again, this is one of these things you have to know and I totally forgot about this, but... Now you have no idea what that does. Right, so where we are right now is uh, the secret room um, where the Casper puzzle is and the maze place. Uh, instead of, you know, just going all the way back, you know, 
because we have to go here back. We have to come back here anyway. I'm just going to fly over the wall to save the journey because here we are. We're in this wee place. You've seen this room before. You know we've been in here and we've done everything we can do in here. Or have we? Well, no. Because what that switch does is it allows you to do this. So now we have a whole other room to go in. Filled with lots and tre lots of treasures. One of which was a jigsaw piece. One of which was nothing. One of which was nothing. I don't care about wasting brass keys at this point, Moon you. And again, to save the journey that we're going to have to take, we're just going to fly over this wall to do this. Okay. Now. We're coming to this point in the game where I have st I have a tale to tell. Um, this is where we're going. Yes, um, there is a tale here. So now we have the secret Casper Man Morph. What does that do? Turns Casper into this. Yes, that's effectively what that is. So what can we do as Casterman? Well, as you saw there, we go uh, faster than we usually would uh, if we were just Casper. Mm, that's basically it. <laughs> really, as far as I know. Uh, apart from one thing, which um, I asked where uh, I tr tried to remember where I figured this secret out because it's something that it's so obscure that you'd really do have to know about it before you even try. I'm having tons of interruptions today, which is really not helping. But anyway, um, this is the um. The final secret, sorry, the final secret that I know of, I'm pretty sure it's the last I know of anyway. I usually leave this one for last, because this is a fucking doozy. Which, I'm still unsure of, oh, for fuck's sake. Now, I don't really remember how to trigger this puzzle anyway, but I'm going to have to ping me around for a bit. Actually, that C's backwards. Oh, no, it's not, suddenly. Right, we have to be, you have to have Casper Man. Uh, you just need to, and you also need to find one of the chairs. I don't know which one it is. Uh, that's not the room. No, it's probably down here then. Where are you? It's this one. No, it's not. But it's one of these chairs, at least. Where is he? Dirty beast there, chair. No. Right. I'll find it eventually. I just don't ever remember where the fuck it is. <laughs> but anyway. I might as well tell the story over here. Um, you find this, and it, it's really, really, you'd, you'd really have to know how to beat the puzzle. So, it's there behind that chair. There, a hidden vent. Obscure as fuck. Okay. This is quite possibly, uh, the puzzles in this game aren't very difficult. Especially when they give you pretty decent clues. And how to figure it out. However, you have not seen this puzzle. Oh, it's not even this room, is it? It must be. Ah, it's done now. Okay, I shot myself for a second there. Okay, so here is a wee chest. Let's go, place the football, it? Let's go up here. Now, our only clue to this puzzle is 5 2. Although, this just looks like. 
coins in the left there, but whatever. 5, 2, 2, and 10. What does that mean? No. I don't know. To me, it's obvious what it means now. But, you know, if you're just looking at it and you're wondering what the fuck, you have no idea what that even means. Uh, there was a forum post, and um, I, I asked about this, if anyone knew what the fuck this was. And the guy on this thing said, oh, it's a kid's game, just press all the switches and then, you know, that'll work. It's, they didn't make it difficult because it's a children's game. Well, that's absolute horse shit because clearly that doesn't work. So what do you do? Well, let's turn them all off again. The way it's, it works is it's supposed to be binary. Like, binary code. But I think it's also supposed to be backwards, so be like 1, 2, 4, 8, 6, eight. See, I don't understand it actually, because it would be enough to make 52. I mean, would there? I'm a bit slow, uh, I'm a bit rusty at this shit, but I think that's right for that. No, no, that's not right at all. It's, I think it's backwards anyway, so it would be like 1, no, even that doesn't make sense. Even that doesn't make any sense. Hold up. The cheating bastards start at 2 rather than 1. <laughs> so, it would be... Um, that is, that actually still doesn't make much sense. Oh, Jesus. I'm a bit of a herpa derpa time, to be honest. So it would be like 2, 4, 8. So it would be 10. These ones would be... Uh, off. That would be. Does. No? I genuinely don't even know where how that makes any sense, to be honest. But whatever. I have the actual code thing here. It's supposed to be 52. And now your wall opens up. And there we have so much gold. So much gold. And then we pick all this gold up. We still have a white key that we haven't used, so obviously... Oh, a fucking white key and a red key. Obviously, there's something I've missed out. So we're gonna try and figure out what the fuck I've missed. Okay. So after that... Which we are now at um, 666 on the fucking coin thing, which is quite weird. Uh, it's time to go down to... Back to the, the basement. Because we have shit to be getting done. We have a game to be finishing. So let's just make our way down there. Um, so... Oh, fucking loading screens. To go up the stairs because I have to go back down. Oh, this castle. Castle, it's a manor. I, I don't know why I keep calling it a castle, but you know, it's a manor. Whipstaff manor. And as you can tell, I'm out of shit to say for just random roaming around. So, uh, yeah. I'm not exactly sure on what I'm doing just now. Um,. I think I know what to do, but I don't really remember. I think we have to go through the maze and uh, go through the secret thing. Not secret, but it's there. It's somewhere. We're everywhere. I don't know anymore. I've kind of lost it. Um, that wasn't it, was it? Where does this take me? No, it takes me here. Okay. That's fine. Then we'll have to go through the maze. Which, uh, I'm probably just gonna fly over because you've seen me do that maze about 20 times now. <laughs> There's no fucking need to see me go through it now because I've done it. You've seen that. You know I've been through it. All of that good shit. Um. Don't touch the acid. It's in bed, Luke. Um, there we go. 
Okay, anything in here? Burst? No, no, okay, just making sure. Let's go. And I think this should be open. If, of course, this is the room it is. Okay. And uh, we need a white key, which we have. And there we are the cellular integrator. I found the cellular integrator! So now we can go and finish this game. Because that is. It's not the last item you need, technically, but it's the item that you need to finish uh, the game. Let's go back over the wall. Because fuck you. And. Oh. Side. Here we go, on our way to beat the game. So, let's just go put the cellular integrator in, uh, into the Lazarus to make it go and bring Cat's dad back to life. Let's go past a few boss room because we don't have a boss there anymore. Into this creepy as fuck room. Let's go with the Lazarus. There we go. Here it is, Cat. The cellular integrator. Now we can get your dad back on his feet again. Suddenly evil person. I'll take that. No! Casper, you've got to get it back. Right, so now we have a final boss battle, which I... If you hadn't played it, I bet you weren't expecting it. And, oh my god, by the way, this is terrifying. This used to terrify me. Look at her, and look at her face when she goes sort of side on. The whole face glitches, and even though it's kind of glitching, you can kind of see it. It's so weird, it shouldn't look like that. It's Oh no. But anyway, we found a strange old key, but this is where you can use the Phil's gold coins, because obviously she wants treasure. If you've seen the movie, you know that the whole point of her character is she wants treasure, so we'll just do this just to show you. She's just kind of, you know... She goes through walls, by the way, which is something I never mentioned. So she just goes and picks up all the coins you put down, because that's what she does. You can't put the coins down at any other time in the game except now. So how do we beat this boss? Well, it's very simple. Remember this chest? Oh, the key opens it up. And there we go. Wasn't that easy? Now we can turn your father back into a living person again. But then you'll never be. This is the way it's gotta be. And uh, that's it. Eddie Cato never appears, so his character anyway. None of the fucking people in this game are voiced by people from the movies, apart from maybe Casper and the ghosts, but, you know. But yeah, that's it. That's, um, that's Casper. It's not really difficult, it's just no you need to know where things are in order to get through the game quickly. And obviously, I didn't really at parts because I, I, I can forget a lot about this game. I, I'm actually surprised at how much I remembered. Uh, but yeah, it's a well, it's a it's a good game. I I really like the game. It's uh, it's just weird. Also, I like the sort of remix medley thing. Of all the music for the credits, that's quite cool. I like that. I'd probably like it better if it wasn't lagging. Because it would sound better. Because it's kind of slow just now because of that. That would be good if it wasn't laggy, but whatever. I can't really do much about the lag. But, anyway. That's it. 
Let's see who. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this LP. I actually really enjoyed playing it. So, yeah. See you on the next LP. I'm not gonna like move the mic or anything. I'm not gonna be here. But whatever.